young lives full of so much promise. Young lives with hope, even in the midst of often great hardship. Hope and happiness, thanks to the Sunshine Centre for Children in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. The centre began its life in the year 2000, when two Australian missionaries saw young kids and teenagers collecting recycled scrap on the streets, trapped in a cycle of poverty and danger. Now there are nearly 100 kids enrolled at the Sunshine Centre, benefiting from an education, health, hygiene and happiness. Hello, I'm Lee Hatcher. I'm very pleased to be associated with the work of the Sunshine Centre for Children and to bring you their story. This is a work of salvation in more ways than one. This past generation has been one of trauma for Cambodia. In 1975, Pol Pot's murderous regime swept into Phnom Penh. No one was safe from the persecution and murder. His killing fields. Two million people died. It was ground zero. Whole families, communities, Cambodia itself was robbed of so much of its future. It's left a terrible legacy, especially for Cambodia's kids. There's crippling poverty, families live on just a few dollars each week. Standards of hygiene are often just terrible. These vulnerable children are often robbed of their childhood, being forced to beg, sell recycled rubbish. <laughs> Some of the kids are caught up in an insidious prostitution racket, some as young as five, with nowhere else to go. Children from very poor families are particularly vulnerable. Desperate parents may be forced or tricked into selling a child just so the rest of the family can eat and survive. 22,000 children in Phnom Penh don't or can't attend school on a daily basis. But there is another side to this story. The Sunshine Centre for Children is shedding real light amid the darkness and despair. Each day, nearly 100 school and preschool children are taught, fed and given health and hope, holistic care, a safe place to be. It's helping secure a better future for the kids as well as their families and Cambodia. The day starts early. The kids arrive at 7.30 in the morning. They have fed two meals a day. The preschoolers spend the whole day at the centre following their own fun program. Primary age children attend the local government school. When not at school, they return to the centre for extra catch-up tuition, including English language classes. As well as the classrooms, there are two large play areas which are put to great use by adventurous and high-spirited kids. There's singing, 
drama and a small library, all of it encouraging creative play and learning. The school's mission, framed by the love of God and the love of these kids, is to empower and support these young ones to break the poverty cycle through education, skills training and health care. And with this centre, the work goes on out into the community, beyond the kids. There's relationship building and care for the very needy, vulnerable families. The parents need a lot of support. So many of the kids are just there. They're not exactly being nurtured. And poverty means that many of the children are chronically dirty or lice infested, and some of them don't even see a problem with that. Add to this, deep-seated attitudes about sexuality perpetuates the sexual abuse of not only women and girls, but of young boys too. There are just so many needs with these families. It's in the embrace of the families that we can truly make a difference and some long-term contribution. So, staff at the centre engage with families in their homes and parents are invited to be involved in their children's education. The future is a challenging one. Resources are tight, the needs are great. It's almost as if the more the centre does, it finds much more work to be done in this community. This is an absolutely critical work for the children, their families and Cambodia. Up until now, the Sunshine Centre for Children has been funded year by year, mostly by individuals with a few small grants. Sustained funding for the future is essential if the centre is to continue its vital work. What's been achieved here so far is remarkable. It's quite literally life-changing. It's transforming families and communities. It's helping rebuild a nation. Will you help us build that future?